You know if it's from God, if it's orderly. God is a God of order. That's why he's called father. Father comes a word from the word pattern, right? Paternity, patriarchy, even patriot, pattern. Pattern is order. A patriot is someone who loves the order in their country. A country requires order. The father is always about order. You have set yourself up to order your life around following Christ. You've also ordered your life around semen retention, saving up money, monk mode. These are all orderly things, <laughs> okay? Satan is the god of disorder, right? He's the father of chaos. By mere virtue of the fact that you set yourself on a path of order and then chaos is now presenting itself to you should let you know what's from who. What's from God and what's from Satan? <laughs> very, very, very clear. And, you know, it's never about denigrating women, but recognizing who they are as in relation to us. Temptation will always come through the woman. In every regard, in almost every regard, I say 90% of temptations for men come from thoughts of women. Even when it's things that aren't directly related to a woman, in some roundabout way, it's about women. Women introduce chaos into your life. <clears throat> but that's beautiful. That's great. That's why we're better together. But it's even better to have a woman in your life when your life is ordered around boundaries. When I was, th this is something I learned from when I was in my new age days, right? Back when I was, you know, doing yoga and meditating and, and holding crystals and stuff like that. And there's a lot of validity to the things that you learn in the new age. The new age isn't a lie. It's just a partial truth. So there's a lot of things there that are like, wow, well, because it's a partial truth, I think the whole thing is real. And th but then they, you know, they, you can sneak in lies or sneak in falsehoods. Anyway, neither here nor there. This is the true thing that whenever you set out to put your life in order, that's exactly when disorder is going to start presenting itself. Someone who decides, oh, I'm going to start meditating. I'm going to start, like you, semen retaining. I'm going to start on a new path in life. I'm going to give up alcohol. It is during these very moments of trying to ascend that the descending force is going to want to bring you down. That little dream about if you lose her is on you, that's not from God. I can tell you for sure. Now, of course, that's my opinion, right? But from the looks of it and all the information you offered me, this is not good for you in any way, shape, or form. So it must be from Satan, right? It would ruin your job, right? It would ruin your goals. It would ruin your semen retention. It would ruin you saving up money for a car. It would ruin basically everything except you would get a little entertainment out of it. You get a little good feel out of being with this girl. There would be a little bit of an ego boost, right? Associated with, yeah, maybe I, maybe I can get her, right? Here's, here's my advice. First of all, you hear, it doesn't take much to understand what I'm trying to say. You're on the path of order. She's introducing disorder. Not a, good, not a good idea. But you say that when you're around her, I feel timid and I'm not myself. I would say use this as an opportunity to begin practicing grounded engagement with women. What do I mean by that? Not engagement in terms of getting married. Grounded engagement meaning I know I want nothing from you. Establish that in yourself first. I know I'm not going to pursue you. I know there's nothing between us. Nothing will ever be between us. Now, given that you're firm in that, start getting comfortable speaking with her about just easy things, just roundabout things. Not because of anything related to you and her, but related to you learning how to speak in a relaxed way, conversate in a relaxed way with a cute girl. It'll be so much easier, just, you know, just to reiterate, it'll be so much easier for you to do that 
if you know that you don't want anything from her, if you know that there's nothing going to be going on between her. Erase any thought that any, here's the thing what we, we like to do a lot of times, fantasize. Oh, but maybe. Erase all but maybe. Erase all fantasy. Any fantasy that comes into your mind about what might happen with you guys or what could happen with you guys or even just for the pleasure of fantasizing, hmm, thinking about her, erase it all from your mind. Use that as a part of your being in monk mode. Being in monk mode isn't just about not being with a woman. It's about erasing the temptation of the flesh from your mind. Monk mode begins here. Think about a monk. What does a monk do? A monk meditates. A monk prays. A monk in monk mode isn't just doing monk mode. He is monk mode. You must become monk mode. That means in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, you are erasing temptation. You're eliminating temptation from your life. So don't even entertain these thoughts. Entertain no thoughts with her. But, because you have to see her, talk to her. Talk to her. Be light and relaxed and just easy. And what that's going to do is also going to give you the confidence that you can talk to a cute girl and be relaxed. And then, when you're not in monk mode, maybe, and you're looking for a wife, and you see a girl that might be potential wife material, or you see a girl that is a wife, you know how I talk about that, right? You don't find a, you don't find a girl and make her your wife. You find a wife, <laughs> and then you make a family with her. When that time comes, you'll, feel, you'll be practiced up. You'll, you'll be easy about it. Because even then, if you are following my advice and you court these women, which means no fornication, that means I'm not really looking for anything from you right now, so there's no reason for me to be nervous but I'm vetting you and checking you out to see if you're a potential wife material. And so that's my opinion on that, dude. I hope that helps. Done. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war, as well as how it's affecting your health, your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, How Millions of Men Are Fighting Back and Winning the War Against Masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit makemenstrongagain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world. But it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.